Here's the Josh Manson hit on JT Miller that was called two minutes. This is an illegal check to the head. It's the right call. You have Miller prone against the boards. His head is down low and his back is to Manson. Manson's coming at him from the side, but there's no other result that's going to happen here other than Miller going face planting into the boards. It wasn't the most violent force, but what's with all the butt checking in the NHL? You could have boxed him out properly without using that much force. And then the elbow comes in at head height. Like, what are you sticking your arm out for and driving it right at the head? It's not the worst thing in the world. Like, really, I understand why he's saying, you know what, I didn't really mean to do that. And he's actually kind of upset at Miller, I think, for selling it a little bit. But when you look at the situation Manson sees, Miller's pressed up against the boards. He's already engaged with someone else. His head has the same height the entire time. It's not like he lowers it or surprises him. It's there. He's pressed against the glass trying to protect himself as best he can. And Manson comes in and takes advantage of it anyway. Elbow right to the head area, butt into the back, pressing him against the glass. I call this a non-hockey play that isn't malicious, putting it in my three to five game suspension category. Tough call would suspend Josh Manson of the Colorado Avalanche three games for an illegal check to the head.